G'day folks, Ivan here with another video geek for YouTube. Oh, yeah! Have you ever been in a situation where you've discovered a really, really cool and informative video on YouTube? So good in fact, that you wanted to download it and store it locally, say on a network share, but later found out that the YouTube plugin for XBMC did not actually save it there anyway. What? So you may be thinking, where did my download go? Yes. This is the situation I ran into and at the time, I could not find a solution online. So on my media box, looking at the add-in settings for the YouTube plugin, you can see here that I actually configured it to save all my YouTube downloads to a network share. But they all went MIA. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my solution that I implemented to fix this annoying problem. I'll also share with you a really, really awesome app which actually solved the problem. Nice. This app is so useful not just for my solution here, but may be used in other situations too. More on this later in the video, so stay with me in this video gig. Okay, before we get into the nitty gritty of it, first let me give you a bit of a rundown on the kind of network setup I have here at home. So on my home network, I have a special version of XBMC running on my media hub, which is a Minix Neo X8H. This box is just awesome. The Minix Neo X8 packs a quad-core Cortex processor, 2GB of DDR3 memory, and includes Android as its operating system. And because it runs Android, guess what? You can also add and run Android apps from the Google Play Store. Excellent! Also on my home network, I have a Raspberry Pi set up as a file sharing server so that I can store all my media files for everyone to access on the home network. The media files are stored on a powered USB external hard drive that is connected to one of the Pi's USB ports. So what is this app that I've been hinting at that solves this issue? For me anyway. This cool app is called FolderSync and it's available from the Google Play Store for a small price of only three bucks and 25 cents. But if you're not in Australia like me, you'll probably get it cheaper than us Aussies because we tend to get charged more for digital products here. Go figure. If your wallet is pretty empty, don't fret. You can always try the light version which won't cost you a cent. Okay, before we get into setting up folder sync to sync YouTube downloads, let me give you a quick run through of the plugin's problem. So as you can see here, I have the YouTube plugin configured to download to a folder share on my NAS box. The problem is, if I go and choose a video to download, say this one, if I now go and check to see if the video is actually on my NAS box, you'll see that the plugin did not actually download it there. Okay, so where did the download go? Well, if I just leave XBMC running in the background and go and look at the file system on my Minix media box, you'll see the video that was just downloaded is here. So if I just play it for a bit. So this dude, four diamonds for a very lucky pink block. Ten diamonds okay, for enough of that. You see that the video file is intact. So where is it? Well, the YouTube plugin actually saved it in the Downloader Module Scripts folder. Okay, now that you get the gist of the problem, let's move over to Folder Sync to see how we can solve this issue once and for all. Yeah! When you first run Folder Sync, Go over to the Accounts section. Here we add an account that tells FolderSync where to sync our downloads. 
As you can see, FolderSync supports a large number of places you can sync your files, including most of the popular cloud providers. In this video gig, we'll tell FolderSync to use a local file share. So if I scroll down and select SMB SIFS. Okay, let's start by giving this count a name. On my NAS box, I have a folder share named Tech TV. So let's give it that same name. Next, we need to provide either the IP address or host name of the server. In this case, I have a local DNS server that knows the IP address of my Pi NAS box. So I'll just enter the host name here. Yes, I know, not very creative, is it? But it will do. We now need to give folder sync the name of the folder share. So let's enter that here. Finally, we need to enter some account login information so FolderSync can successfully connect to the NAS box to save the downloads. Now, just to note, for FolderSync to succeed, it needs the appropriate rights on the server that it is connecting to. So you'll need to make sure that that is set up first. Okay, moving on. Before we save the account, let's run a quick connection test just to make sure FolderSync can see the remote folder share. So let's now save the configuration. There we have it. The new account shows up over here on the left. Okay, next we need to tell folder sync which are the two folders we want to sync from and sync to. To do that, we choose folder pairs. Easy. Okay, next, select add folder pair. Let's give this folder pair config a name. So here I'm going to call it again Tech TV. Now for the account, we select the account we just created earlier, which is Tech TV again. Here's where we tell folder sync the two folders to work with. First, it's the remote folder. This is the folder that is on the NAS box. So let's select that here. Okay, now the local folder, which will be the main folder that Folder Sync will monitor for new videos. Can you guess which one that is? It's the script module downloader folder we saw earlier. So browse over to that folder. and choose the select folder button. We're almost done. The next section, we need to choose a sync type. Pretty straightforward. We only want to move the videos from the local folder over to the NAS box. So we choose to remote folder. For scheduling, you choose how often you want folder sync to check for new videos to sync. Now I choose not to have any time set here in favour of the instant sync option available here. However, Folder Sync does recommend in their help file to use the scheduling feature instead of instant sync, as it's currently, well in this version anyway, an experimental feature. I have not yet experienced any issues with the instant sync feature, so you may want to give it a go. If you haven't already, select it here. Next, we choose not to sync subfolders or hidden files. We do want to delete the original downloaded video after the sync is complete. Ah, as you see here, you're presented with a warning. 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 Folder sync is alerting you to make sure you select the correct sync type. Otherwise, you'll lose the files in the source folder. In our case, we want to move our downloaded YouTube videos over to another box on the network. So that's why we chose the two remote folder sync type earlier. Get it? Good. Before you select OK, make sure you did in fact choose the same sync type and the correct local folder for which the YouTube videos will be sourced from. OK, moving on. 
we want to make sure we retry the sync operation if it failed for whatever reason. So select that. Okay, for connection, this Minix media box is connected to the network via a wired connection, not wireless. So I'll turn off Wi-Fi and check the use other connections instead. For notifications, choose to notify on sync success, when changes occur, and if there is a sync error. Scrolling down, you should find these options already checked. If not, check them. Now save. And there it is. Now, if you're eager, you may want to run a sync operation right away. You can do so by choosing the sync button here. But what we'll do now is run a test to make sure this all works. So let's now move back over to XBMC and run the YouTube plugin again. Let's explore again. And choose the same video we tried earlier. I'll now download it. Yeah, nice and quick. Let's see if that instant sync feature worked. I'll go back to that local script module downloader folder, which was the original folder that the videos were being downloaded to earlier. Ah, it's empty. Did it work? Is it over on the NAS box? Let's have a look. Go back to XBMC. Back up to the main dashboard. Choose Files. Select the Tech TV Network Share folder. Yes! Ah, there it is. It worked. Okay, just to check the video is good, let's play another little sample again. Ah, excellent. So there you have it. That's how to use XBMC, Folder Sync, and in this case, the YouTube plugin to download all your favorite videos. But remember, Folder Sync can be used for any other syncing operation you may want to set up. For example, you could use it to sync all the music you have on your Android mobile phone to say another location on your home network, perhaps your XBMC media box. Either way, I'm sure you'll agree Folder Sync is a very useful app. If you want to go grab Folder Sync now for all your Android mobile devices, check out the links below this video for more. Well, we've come to the end of this video gig. I hope the information here was useful for you. Well, I guess it was because you're still here. If you have any questions, comments, or perhaps a topic you want to see covered here in the future, please join in on the conversation below. If you want to see this channel grow, then smack that like button now. If you don't, smack it anyway. Go on, it won't hurt. See you next time, and thanks for watching.